ओके गाइस इट्स मी इमाद फ्रॉम नेल्सन डार्विन पार्क टेक यूट्यूब चैनल सो टुडे इन दिस वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल वी विल लर्न अबाउट हाउ टू रिवर्स ए स्ट्रिंग विद इन दी जावा एक्लिप्स सो हाउ वी कैन डू दैट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी नीड टू क्लिक ऑन क्रिएट ए जावा प्रोजेक्ट एंड हेयर वी विल write the name of the project as revert or any other word of your own choice we will click on next and then finish now what is this now revert okay now you can see that revert is our name of the project and we can see that this src folder all right click on it go to new and click on class one public class and void main function is very necessary for the proper running of the java code so we will write revert uh, 00 is the name of the class you can write any other name if you want and you also need to take this take this public static void main function this is our main function in which we need to write all our code so click on finish and we got our programming window ready now now you can see that this is our name of the project this is our class name and this is our public static void main function now we will write all of our code inside this void main function so we will write here string a is equal to like well okay done okay so so this is our string a so now what what is this string is a data type string is a, a data type and a is the name of the variable and it can only store the string type data in it okay so well done is now stored inside this variable a now we will create a second string that is called as string b is equal to we will just write a blank or nothing in it okay so uh, b b b variable string is uh not having any sort of data in it okay variable okay now string a and string b now what we need to do is to write a for loop okay okay for loop so here we will write for int g is equal to 0 g is less than okay g is less than a sorry a because our string string is a g is less than a dot length of okay a dot length okay l e n g t h okay a dot length so and g plus plus okay so this is our y for loop now you can see that we have written for int g is equal to 0 and here you need to write semicolon okay and this is now right now what will happen now we have initialized a variable which whose which whose name is g it can only store an integer type data in it that is 0 like this is 0 okay so in g is equal to 0 and g is less than a dot length okay a dot length will give us the length of the string a so it is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 so its length is 8 okay and g++ is the increment operator so so first uh, the value is uh, inside g is 0 and obviously it is less than 8 so control will come to the body of this for loop and here we will we can see b is equal to b is equal to a dot c h a r 8 character 8 g character at g plus b now now what is this this is the main main part uh, whose uh, okay now we can see that first character 8 function first g will become 0 so character 8 gives us the uh what's called as a dot character 8 gives us the 
a particular character which is on this index g okay now now g is uh, like uh, g is equal to 0 and so at zero index what is this it is it is w in a string it is w okay so now w will be here okay w will be here and plus b it it, it will add nothing and then w will be stored inside this b okay okay now b is also here okay so 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 it is it is b now it is b now what will happen again control will move and when g will becomes uh, after in increment after increment from this increment operator uh, g will becomes one and one is obviously less than this eight again control will come okay again control will come and now what will happen it will give us what now b b has updated value of g okay b has updated value of uh, sorry w okay w so it is a dot character at one because g becomes one so what is it is e okay it is e so what it will become because this plus sign is the concatenation operator so now w uh, so e plus w e plus w okay so because this thing will give us e and this has already stored w in it so it is e plus w is e w okay e and w not w e but e and w so again it will like uh, it will it will repeat again and again and we will get our answer so now we need to write here after the uh, for loop has finished we need to write system dot out dot print ln so it is system dot out dot print ln so it is p okay now what we need to do is to I, either we will see that either it is it is going to work yes it is it is okay it is in order well leo or uh, what is it is the reverse of well done okay so hopefully you got the concept that how you can revert a string within the java so thanks for visiting our channel and don't forget to subscribe